So let me show you how you can basically delete a character or 16 plus or city uh, using any macro form. You can use an uh, AC file just for example. So to delete the character or 16 plus or city, you would need a software um, uh, to write the code. So I'm using key for the purpose. And this is the code. This is you pointing in to delete the character or 16 plus or city using an AC file like your taller. So I'm not gonna explain the whole code, just the main portion that will be um, paying him for us um, for deleting character or doing code velocity. So yeah, let me start from here uh, that I'm finding port 2 as a data database port for a city uh, database and uh, these are the keypad keys row 1, row 2, row 3, row 4, row, uh, column 1, column 2, column 3, column 4 connected to port 1 then we got all city control keys register select read write enable um, to um, um, total city whether we are sending we are going to send data or command and then we have these four port 5 keys that will be the main uh, keys that will delete a character on system console city this increment the cursor decrement the cursor delete okay this is the port 1 and line 2 and clear all these all eight keys are connected to the port three, port two for velocity, and port one for the keypad. So, um, I see me here in the cursor and press this button. The cursor will recommend one time forward, and D see me decommend the cursor, but this will press the cursor will decommend one time. And then we have a delete key which will delete the character from velocity. Then we have a line two which is to uh, send the cursor to the second line. And this is clear all you to clear the whole display. Basically, it's a keyboard and facing code. Um, because when you want to delete a character in, in case when uh, you have put a wrong uh, data into the encryption controller and a wrong um, data is on the so you want to delete. Um, or raise some kind of um, misprint such kind of uh, uh, situations you need um, the deleting of the character so uh, as the key band of face the AC file for my controller and my controller uh, is a good example in this case that you when you are printing something on city using keys you got something a misprint or you, you, don't, you don't want that thing to be on the city you use a delete character function to delete that character and, um, and uh, write a new one, print a new one. And then we have another variable in cursor. And cursor uh, is a very important variable in two variable that will uh, basically store the correct position of the cursor or the system cross also the this will be the store the correct position of the cursor or string cross to all city. Uh, but the cursor on the first line uh, because this is only for the first line uh, the cursor variable work. Uh, uh, because uh, where the cursor is on the first line, and if it, because if we're using this cursor, we can send it to by using this variable, you can send the cursor automatically to the second line. We'll show you how they can do that as well. So, cursor variable will store the current position of the cursor in the first line. If the cursor is in the third position, the cursor variable will say well, uh, three, and if it's four, then it's going to be four, and so on. 16 and I will read 16 and move through the second line automatically. So then we have these four function columns as uh, you know, this is keypad and facing, so I'm using these four uh, functions. Well, I'm going to show you as well. Um, these three very important functions uh, to initialize velocity, then we have create to send a command and send a data and to create a spring on velocity, and then and then we have two delay functions. I'm using. I'm, I'm, I'm going to create delay using timer. It's a control. So um, then we are setting these um, register select and control pins as output, and these bar pins, very important pins, as input. Then we sign it closer to zero. Then initialize the city. And then we are here. Um, that I'm setting the rows to zero, columns to one, because we want to detect zero on the column pins from the rows. And then we are checking which column gets to zero, and we are going to the uh, appropriate functions. You know, if you haven't faced the keypad with, with any microphone for you, must know these functions. And then um, I see um, area cursor gets to zero, and then the cursor plus plus increment. At uh, this variable, cursor will be incremented one time each time we press this button to store the clock position of the cursor. And because of the I see 
uh, we also incrementing the cursor by using this command uh, uh, hexadecimal 13 which will move to the second one this is uh, in the in the in the data sheet of societies which is basically the uh, 8 summer 448 summer zero if the city uh, processor uh, so you can see data sheet of HD 44870 so then I uh, do come in the cruiser how are we gonna um, some kind of documentation for the cursor variable for example uh, uh, we also like the cursor to move back with one position so as well as the choose to the current point or uh, clock or uh, clock position in the cursor variable we'll also command the cursor variable as well it's gonna be one time each time I'll press the keys and then a most important function dial we just gonna print a space and nothing else this is just green character is a phenomenal is um which is based on just printing space and then 10 milliseconds delay and then we're gonna sh shift the cursor back and forth after printing the space the, cur the cursor moved to, fit to a further <coughs> forward one position you don't want the cursor to move forward you want the cursor to remain in the same position so we're gonna use zero cross uh, one zero to let the cursor present where it was the light to the center cursor second position zero uh, second line zero position clear all to clear the whole display as well as uh, saying the cursor to first line third position and making this cursor variable zero because this is called a new clear display print the characters again as 16 characters in the first line the character will automatically move to the second line which is this so um, if you first time you have printing 16 characters then you clear the display the cursor will remain on the second line because the cursor is 16. So um, if you clear the display, I mean clearing everything, so you will also need to clear the cursor value. And then if you say if cursor is equal to 16, you mean if 16 characters all in the first line, then we have creating 100 millisecond delay. We're gonna shift the cursor to the second line, zero position, as well as we're making cursor zero. Well, the reason we are making this curve this time zero because um, when you clear the display, the cursor will automatically move to the first line. Um, I'll just say it's going to use this. I think so. Yeah. You can use it sometime. Then 300 millisecond delay uh, because when you press the button, there's some time you need to hold the button, and there's 300 millisecond. If you're using tax switch, then this is good, and if you're using others, which is the 200, it's very good. Thank you. And in initialization, then do a formula with these functions, sending a data, sending a command. This is also the point, uh, just as I'm using an unsigned character top variable, um, and uh, I'm using a pointer, this is named as pavement, used to display a string. Although, you can use directly you also do the underscore send function to display the, the string. I display the space. And then P, if there is a string with it, it is in. There is any. The column one have uh, making all those rows one the columns uh, that which receive the zero zero want to detect the zero in the rows and then which will guess the zero will will display that cursor uh, that uh, character and as well as we are commenting the cursor variable to store the correct position of the cursor because after displaying a displaying a correct to the cursor and command so we want to also prevent the cursor. As well, so that after displaying 16 characters on the first line, the cursor will automatically move to the second line by using this command. So this is the code which you can help. Oh, you can basically delete a character on 16 characters. City. I'm going to show you in the hardware just a moment, and so how you, it basically works in the hardware that you can delete a character on 16 characters. City. Let's move to the hardware view. So I'm going to show you how this thing basically works in the hardware. First, we're going to show you the components. Uh, this one is this is a 16 cross to LCD, a keypad, connected to a half micro tour right here in the bird and bird consists of a regular circuit, a face on to power to regular disk converse. Um, a voltage to 5 volts. I'm providing 9 volts DC to 5 volts DC, and these are two voltage capacitors 1000 microfarad and 100 microfarad. And we got a clock per circuit, 
and we got a lot of aluminium research circuit. This is a, a circuit of uh, the quality so it's a transformer, AC, uh, converting to DC. Um, this is 9 volt AC to using a bridge rectifier and I'm going to follow this thing here. So after hooking the power you see the cruise is on the screen at this moment. Um, so let me also introduce uh, first of you um, uh, what this keypad. This is a 4 cross 4 keypad as 4 rows and 4 columns and it consists of keys 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, asterisk 0, hash, A, B, C, D. A 4 cross 4 keypad. And we got hard keys here. This is to decrement the cursor. This increment is just to delete the character. Um, this is to move to the line to zero position. This is to clear the display. So, so if I point something, on, um, for example, to graph four, you see that this kind of situation mostly takes that you want that thing to be single time. You got it double time. So you want to delete um, that thing one time to get an accurate. Um, data so C4 is printed two times I want to delete one four so what we'll do we'll use this document cursor button and then gonna um, quick, uh, press this uh, delete button to delete the cracking you see and now I'm gonna print six and then seven and you can see 8 is again double time point and we use again cursor deleted this thing and asterisk you hash again deleting it so, okay. so the point of that if the first line is holding this character, the, uh, the cursor automatically moves to the second line uh, after the first line is full. So, I'm going to show you how basically that thing works. Um, after displaying two characters, you'll see that the cursor will automatically move towards the second line. You see that? It's displaying sound 8, the cursor is now in the second line zero position. So, if we display characters here as well, and you want to delete something, on the second line, so this process will also work as well. So let me decrement the closure, let me delete A, press the delete button, A gone. We're going to be here. We want to get rid of the signals as well. We're going to find four and then we want 